Estamos una vez más de regreso en vivo desde el show más grande de la industria que es su nombre, es el Performance Racing Industry, el día de que se celebra en su versión número 25. Mira, hay 3.000 bus en el piso y 40.000 expertos de la industria de la industria automotriz. En todo lo que tiene que ver aquí hay incluso hasta lo que es el reporte de los radios de control, de los radios de radio control, de eso hasta los simuladores, hasta los constructores, las máquinas que construyen todo y el vivo, usted lo está viendo por GoRacingDB.com gracias a Mazda y gracias a Cooper Tires que nos llevan este excelente escenario para tener gente importante como son Peter Chas y nuestro amigo D que nos va a hablar en inglés, así que continuamos con el Sábado Alfredo Mí y más que tu ritmo desde este escenario Bienvenidos, así que vamos a tener nueve minutos de pura acción aquí con Tito Andy Welcome to the show. Again? Again, yes. One question, one question I have, Tito. Uh, what, how difficult it is during a race weekend? How many changes would you do to a car to make it work? Uh, let's say, sometimes you go out of the shop saying, I have everything ready, the car will work, and then when you get to the track, depending on the weather, the track temperature, whatever, uh, Do you always have a hard time working with the cars? Of course, you want to be competitive. Uh, and with that, you have to really go and get that spin. Uh, but how is it for you in a race with you? It's uh, sometimes we, we get a um, little frustrated. It's at the shop, and we do everything at the shop. Um, we scale the car, and in theory, it should work. When we get to the track, we find out the track is too hot, the track is slippery, the mountains start working with the clutch, we start working with the forelink, everything that we did in the shop sometimes is completely different when we get to the track, uh, the pressure of the tires, everything changes. So sometimes it gets a little frustrated, but it's a challenge. We, I, I love it, I mean, because when I see that the track is like, like in a real bad condition and some people are struggling, and my car just makes it from point A to point B, I love it. That's, that's the best satisfaction. Right there, your, your work shows. That your work, your, your knowledge, uh, uh, the management of the technology definitely works. Have you learned from this guy? Oh, absolutely. We, we learned a lot. You grow with him. Yeah, we, we, we grew together. I mean, when, when I first started, you know, we were, the, it was fast and you ran nine seconds like for a while. You know, and then it was fast eight, then seven, and now you have to run sixes. And with all of those, you know, progressions of the score comes changes in technology to the car. Um, and then, like Tito said, On top of it, maybe one week, one weekend a race in Florida, and it's, uh, you know, 100 degrees, it's very humid, and then maybe you go to Colorado, and the elevation changes, and a so car, the is, is the weather is, is, a car that had a great tune-up in Florida and won the event and goes to Colorado and not even qualify. So, you know, you have to save all your data from each race that you go to, so when you go back to that same track, And put your base tune up in that work for that area. Okay, I have a question. I have a question. How, how is your mentality when things don't go the way you're supposed to go? And how do you deal with that stress? Because you're the chassis builder, but he's the driver and he's expecting. You know. Tito's a calm one and I'm high school. Just tell me how you guys deal with it. We usually try to keep the driver away from the car. I mean, just oh, all you have to do is work, keep him in the trailer, and oh, all yeah. so you have to do is punish him. Yeah, we do. We do things to the car that we don't want him to know. We do. No, yeah. And he can perform at the track. He can get there. See? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Usually, the last bit of advice, you know, um, if they turn the car up to go faster, they don't tell me. Usually, Russ, my crew chief, or Tito, When I get in and I'm all strapped, ready to go, and I only got two or three more seconds before it's time to go, they say, hold on this time, it might be a little bit different than usual. That's the first time you know that, right? Yeah, but that's the best time to tell me. You don't tell me before, just right before Did you get I'm scared every time I get in the car. But yeah, yeah. you have fear, you get butterflies, but I mean, it's the same thing when you jump out of an airplane. People like to jump out of pair, you know, jump in parachutes yeah. out of airplanes. Everybody likes different hobbies, snowboarding, whatever, and that fear is what drives you. Because when you overcome the fear and, and you're successful at it, it's, it's a big reward. 
Uh, behind you guys is Team, any, any type of racing, uh, other racing. You gotta have a good team there, right? People going on the car, and people that you can tell them what do you want and how they can respond to it. Uh, and they got the best teams out there, and they got us. And they got there. We were working, uh, going through the NHRA uh, circuit. We, we, uh, we actually did pretty good for a brand new car, and we were doing a lot of research. So, uh, we perform the position. That's the main thing I'm going to do. Howdy, any sponsors? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, Howdy. Uh, number one, you know, we'll I have, number one, I have to thank Mazda. You know, uh, Mazda's been there with us with the RX-7 when we were running the Wankel 13B rotary engine. And then now with the development of the 2.3 liter four-cylinder, uh, Mazda's been there for us. Um, obviously, Tito chassis. Um, NGK smart plugs, Fort Warner Airworks turbos, and most importantly, powertrain control solutions. Uh, they're, they're my title sponsor right now. And uh, Russ and I have been together when uh, he was designing circuit boards out of his uh, parents' basement. And uh, that grew into a very large, uh, successful business. I mean, basically the way it happened was I was racing my RX-7 at the track, and it caught fire. And I was by myself, I had no team, no help, nothing. And I was frustrated. I said, I said I'm done. I'm not going back to racing anymore. Uh, because I just can't do this by myself. And, and there was Russ at the track, and we met, and he started talking to me, and he's like, you know, man, I'll, I'll help you rebuild this. And uh, the rest is history. I told you, he yeah. have a lot of stories. <laughs> that wasn't the only fire, by the way. <laughs> There's people watching that have questions like, okay, he's a driver, but drag racing is only going straight. It's, it's, it's not only that. As a driver, how difficult is it to go from zero to 200 or go from uh, a quarter mile in seven seconds? Uh, what, what happens there? Are you always in the throttles? Uh, what happens with the gears? Are the tires just spinning? What is the most difficult thing to make a car go from zero to a uh, power mile in seven seconds? I mean, anybody that thinks it's easy to drive a drag car because it's going straight, I invite them to get behind the wheel of my car and give it a try because it's not easy to do. Um, especially the way we're doing it. I mean, to take you through a pass, everything happens so fast. Even in perspective, the first gear change is less than one second. So, you know, you're taking off and the, you know, the initial G, G forces are probably somewhere between three and four G forces on, on takeoff. Probably three, not close to four. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of Gs. Um, take off at three. And you get to the, to, to keep in perspective, the eighth mile takes you four seconds and you're already doing over 150 miles an hour. So you're going from zero to 150 in four seconds. In four seconds. And there's three. But it's not easy. No, no, it's not easy at all. I mean, a very fast pass is a car that's on the verge of losing traction. You basically want it to black track now. So I mean, at any moment, it's going. You know, it could get loose. Wow, it has been. This this last party has been very interesting. Uh, sadly, there is no more time to, for us today, maybe tomorrow or later, we will have uh, more guests and talk to you a little bit more about this. Thank you for watching. We are live in, uh, through GoRacingTV.com. This is the special live uh, show, live streaming show for the PRI show. Thanks to Mazda and Cooper Tires. I am Alfredo Nin, joined by Mandai Torino. Thanks, D. Thank you, Tito. And thank you for watching. Don't go. We are going to be here for the whole day and tomorrow also. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Go Racing TV, and Facebook, Go Racing TV. Remember always also, fasten your seatbelts. Respect everything on the street, okay?